Hello and welcome to another video with Archibean and today I'll be showing you how to get a virtual camera that can be used for Zoom, Hangouts, Google Meet, etc. Pretty much any video chatting service. Uh, so this can be used to mess around during online class, let's say, if you have that due to the current situation. Uh, but I've used this to appear as a floating head by using a green screen over my body. I've put image backgrounds behind things and text overlays over my screen. And this can also be used to share multiple screens at one time on Zoom because the free version at least only supports one share screen at a time. So this is really simple to do. Uh, this works for both Windows and Mac, uh, but since I'm on Windows, I will only be showing the Windows version. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is OBS Studio, and this stands for Open Broadcast Software. Uh, and this is just a thing that you can use to put multiple video sources together and either stream or record. But we will be using a plugin called OBS Virtual Cam uh, to take this basically screen here and project it to our camera as if it was a camera. And you can use that virtual camera as basically a normal camera. All right, so I'm, like I said, on Windows, so I'll be doing Windows. Uh, and uh, all these links will be in the description. Uh, so download this. So once that downloads, you're going to want to open the installer here. And if it asks for your permission on Windows, make sure you just hit yes. And it'll open the installer. So to go through this, just hit next, next, and then you can leave the default destination folder here, install. And once the installation completes, you just hit finish and we're going to uncheck this. But if it opens up anyway, just close it. All right, so now we've got OBS installed. We need the plugin that actually allows us to broadcast a virtual camera. So you'll find this link in the description. Uh, this is for Windows, but there's also one for Mac, like I said, but I do not have experience with this and it is fairly new, so it may have bugs, but it should work pretty much the same. But we're gonna do Windows here because that's what I'm using. Uh, so just find this link in the description and click the latest installer here, .exe. Make sure it's this one and not this one. Uh, so download this and save it. And once it downloads, open it. And we're going to go through a very similar installer. Hit next and then next again. Uh, same location. This must be the same location as the OBS Studio was before. Uh, so you will probably want to do only one virtual camera but you could do as many as you want but one is enough for any use pretty much uh, so hit install and finish so now we will open up OBS and see how to use the actual plugin so open up OBS it'll ask for permission sometimes uh, and then finally you should see this would you like to run the auto configuration wizard uh, so yes we are going to hit optimize for just recording I will not be streaming and hit apply settings on everything there alright so now that we've got this window we can work in we're going to familiarize ourselves with how to use this uh, system so First, down here on this right panel, we're going to hit the plus button, and here you can see there's tons of options for different things you can add as sources. So, for example, we could use text. So if you wanted to, let's say, put some text here and then center it on the screen, this is on there now, and we could do things like uh, an image source, browse, let's find something here let's use this arrow and we could have this point to the test for example so obviously if you go into some program like zoom this will not show up as a virtual camera yet because we need to enable the virtual camera so on the top bar hit tools and then virtual cam and hit start and what this will do is start the virtual camera so we can use it in any other program so let me open zoom real quick to test this okay zoom is now open so I'm going to start a test meeting uh, so you can see that it is automatically detected this as my camera however if you had a real camera plugged in or your computer has one built in uh, it would be the one above here so you may have to open this little thing there and choose OBS camera as your actual camera uh, so this is pretty much it. People will see this as if it was your camera and you could 
come in here and add different things and you can even add a video capture device now this is what I like to do during class because obviously I'm going to need to be seen for class so this is me right now and I can drag this so that it fills up the entire canvas and if I move this down here you can see that the text and the arrow show above me. I can take an image of the background so that if I make my camera layer invisible, it will appear as if I have vanished. So let me do that real quick. If you want to use your webcam camera for something else as you do this, you're going to unfortunately need to close OBS because they cannot be used at the same time. So I'm going to close OBS and then take the picture separately. So here I have imported my background image and if I drag this so that it is about the same size as the background, line it up as close as I can. So this is pretty close in size, but you're going to need to drag the image so it's underneath the video capture device as if it was literally underneath it so that the uh, image does not obscure the video. So then if I here click this hide and unhide button, you can see that it looks like I vanish. Uh, obviously some things have moved in the image and the focus wasn't exactly the same between both but if you try this a couple times you can get it to look pretty convincing so if you mess around in here you can do some pretty cool things uh, another one I like to use is if you right click any one of these elements you can come up with this filters option and if you add a filter by doing this you can see there's tons of options but my favorite that is easy to use is scroll so if I apply this here and set the horizontal speed to something, uh, you can see that this now begins to scroll across. Uh, but it may look weird if you do it like this. Let's say you did it over your face. Uh, so what I like to do is limit width and then set it to something like a thousand. And then I go modify the text and just add some spaces at the end. And what this does is make it look like it's scrolling across the screen. So you can pretty much do anything with this. This is only the beginning uh, of what is possible. And if any of you watching are in my class, you know that I've done some pretty crazy things with this. So now I hope you can too. And uh, like I said, if you are on Mac, you can just use the other link down in the description. Uh, again, I don't know how well this works, but it should be pretty much the same, at least on this end. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.